The handheld gimbal stabiliser has been one of the most significant game changers for independent filmmakers. It produces professional results whilst removing the need for tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. But they still lack one vital ingredient. They don't stabilise for up and down motion and rely on the filmmaker's skill to minimise the motion with their arm. This up and down vertical motion or z-axis motion isn't always possible to reduce by hand, especially if you're on uneven ground or with fast action shots or if you're shooting while walking backwards. That's when I decided to build a z-axis stabiliser for handheld gimbals and after a number of design iterations I'm really happy with the results. The Z-axis stabiliser includes fluid dampening and put together it takes cinematography to that next level. Here you can see a vertical Z-axis torture test in front of a mirror. I think you'll agree, it does a pretty good job of reducing unwanted vertical motion from the camera. There's two adjustment knobs that change the spring tension to quickly balance it for your combined gimbal and camera weight. In my early designs I found the spring bounce was happening more than I liked so I developed the fluid dampening module and placed four of these into the base of the handles. These use the same type of concept as $500 fluid head tripods. They work great and smooth the footage nicely. The two-handed design makes for smoother pans, giving the gimbal another level of control that you don't get using them single-handed. Let's look at some footage of my sister's Labrador following me around the backyard. I first used the camera handheld for reference. Then I used the gimbal and camera single-handed. The results are good but it still doesn't remove that bounce from the steps. Finally I attached the Z-axis stabiliser. I started filming here in the more traditional upright position. But due to Sasha being close to the ground, I decided to use inverted mode, where the gimbal is attached to the base of the Z-axis stabiliser. This greatly improves the shots. You get this beautiful, smooth, much more professional results that just gives you great looking cinematography. Finally here's a walking shot, just focusing on a horizontal line and this, this really highlights the amount of bounce that each different filming method makes. Now for reference I've included just handheld walking, it's pretty bad I know, 
And secondly, we've got just the handheld gimbal, which is a vast improvement over the walking, but there is still a noticeable bounce. Finally, we've got the Z-axis stabilizer and gimbal. And you can just detect a little bit of movement, but it's significantly reduced from the gimbal. And finally, we've got the gimbal footage and the Z-axis footage in split screen so that you can really see the difference that the Z-axis stabilizer makes. Okay, so if you're excited about this Z-axis stabilizer, it's so easy to make. Once printed and glued, you can put it together in minutes. You only need a handful of bolts and a couple of springs, some glue and some grease, all listed in the description. Finally, if there's anyone out there who doesn't have a 3D printer and wants one of these, then let me know. If there's enough interest, then we might make them. Now to see how to assemble your vertical Z-axis stabilizer, just click on the link at the end of the video. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Please let me know what you thought with a thumbs up or down. I love hearing what you think of my designs in the comments. If you want to see more of my DIY videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Scotty Make Stuff, at the above link. Bye.